Hey, so welcome back. Uh, this is day two of Katie's video. Uh, we cross over the Talek, heading for a full day of game drive. And the first animals we find, could you believe it, are lions. So uh, the first two members, sorry, the first two lions we found were, were these two male lions uh, who are part of the <coughs> Kijana coalition. So at the time, if, if I'm not mistaken, it was Kijana himself and Ochure who are uh, the two brothers. So we're following the Kijana coalition and boy, were they really playing ball with us today. So as we started off the day, we were following them as they were patrolling. So they had just finished a, a kill uh, when we had gotten there and they were walking across the open plain. Look at that positioning, Katie. Look at that positioning. It's like perfect. Exactly. I knew exactly which tree they were going for. And I was like, yes. So we kept repositioning where we would watch them walking straight towards us and they would walk right past the car and we're getting these beautiful shots. And as we were, we were following them, we decided to go and have lunch, sorry, breakfast. Young males become big, they're gonna cause a lot of havoc. Uh, so I'm trying to get more territory. Yeah, because they'll be trying to conquer all of this. His brother now, yeah, I don't want to walk anymore. <laughs> incredibly windy day out in the Mara. Uh, I'm currently with one guest named Kate, who I'll introduce, to you, introduce her to you in just a minute. But we're out here looking for well, whatever we can find. We have just found two of uh, two males from the Kijana Coalition. So they're actually just behind us over there. And we've stopped just to have breakfast. So, mindful of the wind, this is our breakfast location today. How's it, Kate? Not too shabby? Oh, okay. <laughs> the lions are just over there. So we'll pass by. So after we finished up with the, the coalition of, of males, we decided to start heading uh, into the direction of Luluka, who is one of the most photographed and famous leopards here in the Mara. The biggest issue that we have with her is her location, right? And so she's uh, in an area where you get a lot of mass tourists. But you can just see the craziness. This is why I tend not to come to the side of the park. 
because of how crazy it is. So like I was saying, rather than us being yeah, the problem, know. yeah, no, it's too crazy because you can see they're racing against each other now. Yeah, <laughs> I find it so funny, right? It's like a rally track, you know. <laughs> crazy, right? So in, instead of going down there, I think let's let's go and have a look over there. It's like I think we may have some lions over there, and it doesn't look like there's many cars there well, compared to the peaceful versus. Yeah. It looks like a parade. It does, and you can see all the dust coming up, right? Okay, and then from there we headed to see the Rungai Pride of Lions. So when we got to the Rungai Pride, we saw that, well, there was some action going on. So we had the whole pride who was sleeping uh, under the tree. So it was Lord Kulup, who was one of the males, who was sleeping under the tree with the rest of the females and, and the young cubs. And then we had um, a new mating pair forming, right? So we had uh, Olemunya, and he had uh, one of the Rongai females, and he wanted to mate with her. So his goal when he's mating with the, the lioness is to try and get her away from the pride, and then they can begin mating. And this was fairly early in, in the stages. It was like it was about to start uh, the mating process. So when... Uh, so when when they go through the, the the mating process, they mate about a hundred times a day, and from three to five days. So uh, I did say all of this to Kate, and I was narrating everything as it was going on. But the other problem with that side of the park is you have uh, quite a lot of vehicles, and some people left their car engines on, and some people radios were full blast. So so it wasn't the best experience. So. Um, just be mindful of that when, when you're watching through the clips, uh, a lot of the noises. So I will turn it down and I'll turn the music up a little bit so you can have a listen. So uh, something else that was very interesting was because he was trying to get away from the pride, it was blistering hot. And she just wanted to get to the shade and he would stop her at every moment. Like at one point he just stood over her and told him, no, you can't go. But he was trying to win her over, licking her every so often, her ears, her rump, all these different things, right? So um, his main objective is to is to get her away from the pride. So that's what he keeps trying to do, but she just wants to go to, into some shade. So as we were watching uh, the mating pair, suddenly one of the cubs had gotten up. Something had piqued his interest and what it was was a lizard. So there's a lizard running around this tree and it got the cub to get up. Now the cub was trying to look for it and he would just go around and around the tree. So it was a little bit funny, it was just one of those moments that happened as you're sitting there.
typically call them a pile of lines. Because when you look here, it looks like a massive pile. Because they're all just on top of each other. Pile. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? She really wants to just make it to the shade and he's like, no. <laughs> he bit her on the head. <laughs> She's crawling. Moving everybody away. <laughs> this is the boy who comes to camp. Do the sounds come out of their trunk? Their so, their the, <laughs> the sounds will come out of their, their trunk, okay. but also out of the vocal cords, okay. which they, and also their diaphragms, which they can vibrate uh, oh. and cause like deep rumbling sound, like a kind of a sound. And that's how we also communicate. So we're driving along looking for some cheetah, and all of a sudden we spotted Katie's favorite animal. And she's losing her mind. Aren't you, Katie? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and this is what they are. So we have a family of giraffe with nearly all of the babies are twins. So the one in the middle is a big male. Can you see his color difference? Katie? So it's very seldom to see uh, them having twins, and to see twins at the level that we have the twins, that's like very rare. Oh. It's kind of rarer than seeing a leopard, actually. Really? Yep. So seeing this is quite odd. But look at that, they're just all gorging on the same trees. <laughs> so that's one of the differences you'll see from 
giraffes on the side of the park to the other side. Yeah. Because the ones here are very used to seeing vehicles okay. in big numbers. Yeah. So like how people would stop for the cheetah, sometimes they'd stop the uh, giraffes like that. Yeah. Then you'd have like All a massive nice line of vehicles, yeah, yeah. who are just interested in just seeing that. The babies look so cute, huh? They all so have these cute. tufts on their head. Just have a look. Yeah, they're so All the cute. tufts on their head. So after ages of searching, yeah. driving for hours, right? Yeah. Driving for hours. <laughs> decided to... Uh, sorry. So after driving for hours, we went to look out. After look out, we had a nice lunch mm. um, by a tree just down here. And then on our way out, we spotted a dead buffalo in the middle of the road that you can see there. And then right next to them, we've got the Rekaro Pride right here. And one of the males is under that bush over there. So it's been a lion day today and one leopard, which we've also spotted. Right? Yeah. So we've had a good day for us today. Apart from the cheetah. Cheetah is the only one letting us down. But uh, we'll try for one more leopard, right? Um, right, Katie? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully one more. Hopefully one more. Bag it up. But they are very heavy. They're very full. Um, oh, she's getting up. I'll take you out. Katie just asked me the, the, resp the What's the typical respiration rate of a lion? Respiration rate of a lion, right? I told her I have no idea. <laughs> but fast. So yeah, we'll stick with them for a while, see what they get up to. But it looks like she wants to go and have a small meal. <laughs> but the car shade is just too good. She's just pop down. Just taking Kate on the fastest Ferrari safari we've done, and there's a very good reason for that. And 
that's because of this. The last time I saw one of these properly, this kind of setting, clearly like this was a long time ago. But this. How incredible is this? Big cat. Big, sorry, big five. In one day. It's not a big cat. It's quite the opposite of a cat, right? It's called the black rhino is not because of its coloration. When they were naming rhinos first uh, in South Africa, um, the locals were saying, so with the white rhino, the locals were saying it's called the wide mouth rhino, right? But uh, because uh, the Europeans could not say wide mouth, what they interpreted it as is white. So they called it the white rhino, and this would usually be called the hooked lipped rhino but it got the name the black rhino let out a big fart it's got a lot of gas Okay, we've reached that point in the video again. I do hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the video in the comment sections below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram so you can get more of the live updates and such as the videos are happening and more of the behind the scenes. And well, that's it for now. So bye for now. See you guys in the next one.